So in, in 1999, we published a paper in which rats were using 48 neurons, the electrical storm produced by 48 neurons, to control a robotic liver. But people said, oh, this is, these are just rats. Uh, we want to see something more interesting. And that's when we went for monkeys, mm -hmm. because that's what is assumed to be the, the next clear step to demonstrate any technology. And the first clip we have is of my favorite monkey, Aurora, She's uh, first playing a, a, a game, a video game, using a joystick, and she was very good at that. In fact, you can even see how well she tried to cheat it, you know, <laughs> trying to get the target uh, with the cursor inside. And we're recording 100 neurons, the electrical signals of 100 neurons. We're mixing them up, extracting the motor commands, and sending to the robotic device. And then we took the joystick away. And Aurora realized that she didn't need to move the arm anymore. She could control that device just by imagining the movements. Okay, so we can't see Aurora. What's Aurora hooked up to? Well, you would see just a cap and some wires like uh, coming out, going to the amplifiers, taking these electrical signals to computers and mixing them up. What we demonstrated here is that we could get an animal to realize that it didn't need to produce the overt movement of the body uh -huh. to control the cursor and get a drop of juice. That was the reward she was getting every time she put the cursor inside the target. Okay. She could interact directly with the device and through a, a brain-machine interface. And the brain-machine interface, I would say, is the grand, grandfather of brain-to-brain, -brain because that's where it always started. I guess what I'm trying to understand is the, that Aurora had no, as far as you know, yeah. could, because obviously you can't directly communicate, but it's not, you're not arguing that Aurora had some sense of, I want to get the juice, I'm going to move the... Stick. Well, it's it's yeah, more it's, that something more spontaneous, well, learn, some sort of learning happens. No, she had to learn, and she realized by, tri by trial and error that when we took the joystick away, there was no point of moving the arm. Right. There was no causal linkage between the arm movement and the cursor. Yeah. Somehow she figured out that she could just imagine something, right. and okay. we were able to record that, and soon she realized, okay, this is the prototype of a free lunch. Right. I don't need to move. 